Uh, good afternoon, folks. Uh, today is July 1st, which is Canada Day. Oh, Canada. Um, and last year at this time, I was in Ottawa celebrating Canada's 150th birthday with Wee Day. You so cute, Canada. You so young. Um, but today, I'm actually in Toronto. And so I want to go experience all things that are Canadian because as many of you might know, I'm an American. Um, I have a permanent residency here in Canada and I'd like to get my citizenship at some point. But um, I think it's important for me to learn a bit of uh, Canada's history today and uh, what it means to be Canadian. Uh, so apparently it also means 50% off. So I'm pretty surprised. I can't really find like a history book on Canada in the children's section or the adult section. I did, however, find laughing out loud Canadian jokes. Let me tell you one that I just turned to. What's a ghost's favorite show? Hockey Frightened Canada with Dawn Scary. <laughs> okay, here's another one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dishes. Dishes who? This is the RCMP. Open up. <laughs> so Indigo was a bit of a bust. I thought I would find more info about Canada Day and, and some quintessential Canadian things like uh, the, the stereotypes I have in my head like a moose or maple syrup or beaver tails or poutine or multiculturalism or so many other things that uh, come to mind. So I'm going to continue to enjoy Canada Day outside now um, and hopefully I can find at least poutine or a beaver tail got to celebrate Canada Day at least with one Canadian meal, you know? So I'm now in Dundas Square, which is like the heart I would consider of Toronto. And there's lots of like Canadian things happening behind me. So let's go check out some of the merch and see if we can find some food. So I feel like if we're really going to celebrate uh, Canada Day, we've got to have a hat, right? What do you think of this one? Ding, 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 ding. Mm, I don't think it's me. Okay, so here's what I know about Canadians and Canada Day. They're 151 years old today. Um, just like the Toronto sign behind me. That's so nice. They've like changed it. I don't know what the circle is for, but it's obviously something important. Um, when I think of Canada, I think of multiculturalism. I think of poutine and I think of beaver tails. I was hoping to get at least one of those somewhere, but here at City Hall, there's like nothing happening. So I must not be in the right place. I'm back in the car. Uh, I made it out alive from the Eaton Center in Dundas Square. I did get a free Canadian flag. I feel official. Um, this wasn't where the main festivities was. I thought there would be more things and like more things to, to eat. I'm hungry. So I just did some research on old Google and Google told me that Mel Lastman Square, which is in North York, is where all the things are happening this year. So I'm gonna head up there. It's <laughs> Six o'clock, so I'm sure it's gonna be a madhouse, but let's go check it out. Maybe we can get a beaver tail. So I am not actually at the place that I said that I was gonna to go to um, because it's so far away. It's like a 40 minute drive and it's already like six o'clock. So what I decided to do instead is I came down to the lake shore where I know there are beaver tails. So I'm gonna go sit by the water and have a beaver tail and let's chat about Canada today and what I've experienced today. I made it. There's a lot of choices. The line is pretty long, but it's worth it. We're getting a beaver tail. Okay, so I'm sitting at the harbor front. I got some water and I got a beaver tail. I got the one with lemon. Now, the strangest thing just happened to me, so I have to tell you because I had, I was all like ready to like film me ordering the beaver tail and then collecting the beaver tail and I'm um, telling the guy that I was so excited to like get the beaver tail and I had the camera in my hand, it's on little Osmo, and um, it was on because it was my turn next and there was a couple behind me and I hear the guy go, dude, put that away, it's creepy. And I turned around, I was like, sorry? And he was like, stop that. And I was like, I, what do you mean? And then I looked and I was like, it's not recording, what do you mean? He's like, I see what you're doing, stop that. And I was like, I'm not doing anything. And then I got self-conscious, so then I just turned it off. And then I realized what I think he thought I was doing is there was these two women in front of me and, and because of how short I am, the, the camera was right at their like bums. And so I turned around to him and I was like, just so you know, I'm gay. So I wasn't filming their asses, I wasn't even interested in that. 
So I feel a little bit bummed because it ruined my beaver tail experience, uh, but I guess this is part of the vlog life in regards to uh, vlogging in public. It was a weird thing. I still feel weird about it. And uh, I don't usually like snap back or get in like a verbal confrontation like that, but I was so mad that I had to say something to him. So I'm gonna shake that off right now. And I'm gonna eat this. Oh God, it's good. Mm. Okay, I finished my beaver tail. I feel a little bit better. I'm still a bit like weirded out by what just happened. Um, I'm curious to know like what you guys would have done in that situation had that happened to you. Um, I tried to explain like what I was doing, but he, it's like he, he wouldn't have it. So I don't know, vlogging in public is a weird thing, but there's no laws against like filming. So I don't know. Um, but back to what we were talking about. What I wanted to talk about is that um, happy birthday, Canada. Uh, I searched all over for a beaver tail. I finally found one. Um, and what I noticed today as I was like walking through the city is all the incredible culture that's here. And myself as an immigrant, um, I feel really grateful that I have the opportunity to live here and live in a country um, where our political leaders support a lot of um, diversity and immigration and um, work really hard for the betterment of all of the people that live in this amazing country. So I'm just really grateful um, to live here and I'm grateful that it's so multicultural and more specifically, oh, there's a train somewhere. Um, just that, uh, that we get to celebrate um, the birthday today and then I got to have a beaver tail. So I, I did one thing that was Canadian today. <laughs> um, as always, folks, you're my new best friend. Call me every five minutes. Bye.